Okay, welcome back to part two. Um, isn't this looking absolutely fabulous? Now, in this part, really, we're just basically going to just add some more highlights, um, maybe strengthening some of the shadows here and there, a bit more detail, and, all importantly, work on those pots. Because those pots with those plants are really what catches the eye in this painting, I think. And that's what the painting is about. It's about the splash of colour. So, yes, we have a lot to do. Let's um, let's crack on and see what we can get done uh, in this part of the tutorial. All right. Okay. So now my colours, um, the same colours I just added, uh, burnt sienna, just for one or two of the pots. That's all. So it's the same colours we had before. My same palette. Everything is the same. Um, so yes. Let me just take a look. So if I look around, I'll make sure we're up to speed with everything. Um, right, yeah, we're looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with how the steps turned out. Um, I'm thinking I might leave them, I may not, I don't know yet. Um, I think what we might do is I'll take my middle sized brush and I might do a bit of work on the step around here just to try and make it look more like a concrete step. So let's try a little hint of white and a hint of cobalt blue. And let's just go onto that and let's come along here like so, bring it down. And again, it's just about adding texture to these um, kind of bits of walls and that kind of stuff. Now, there's a lot going on in the painting. There's a lot, well, with regards to texture, there's a huge amount of texture in the building, um, all these buildings. It's not just a kind of a very flat, smooth colour, if you know what I mean. So I'm kind of conscious of that. I'm trying to add texture to the buildings um, without spoiling them, if you know what I mean. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of dark to this one here. Okay, so just like that. I might just add a little dark section to that, like so. Um, you know, it's just all adding it's just adding to it that's all okay let's bring that on a bit more there um okay we are looking i mean we're doing pretty well i would say i'm just going to make a little little piece darker on that like that just there um I'm coming over like that it's just i'm just kind of adding bits just to try and um, show bits of walls, that kind of stuff. Do you know what I mean? Now, I'm going to take a small pointy brush and I'm just going to take some black and perhaps a little bit of that dark blue that I just had. And I'm just going to put a couple of suggestions of some shadows down on this. Just with that pointy brush. Uh, again, this is the type of painting where shadows are very very important i would say in fact the painting is a kind of a shadow study i would think um it's all about the shadow isn't it and shadows are probably the most important aspect of any painting i think shadows are what make that three dimension okay there we go uh i might add a little couple of little bits to this again i'm just adding texture that's all you see i'm just kind of suggesting a little texture now i'm going to take some white and a little blue i'm just going to add a little light spot across the top of those okay that's that's pretty good um i might add a little bit to this this is a type of painting where you could be very sort of abstracty do you understand what I mean? You could just go and have loads of fun. That's what I'm doing. Now, I'm going to start some of the pots. The first one I'm going to start is this big green one here. So we need to mix a nice green. So I'm going to take some cadmium yellow, a little touch of cobalt, and some white. And that's a nice bright, it's a kind of a lime green, isn't it? Nice and bright. Plenty of yellow now in this. And let's go and start putting some pots in. We have a nice big pot up here, don't we? So I'm going to just start like that. 
and we have a piece that comes like that and there's going to be a lot of work in these pots in that with every single pot we're going to have a light side and a dark side so it's going to take very very long to kind of do all those little bits um what i might do is just get the the basic shapes of some of them in so for instance um what i might do is all the green ones i'll just put all the green ones in in one flat color uh like this okay so we have a green one up here now you don't have to again you don't have to copy this exactly and i might not copy it completely exactly i might add a couple of my own colors in there as well we'll kind of see how it goes you know what i mean um okay so we have that and we can also add another nice rich green one uh, let's say up around on one of these so let's just go like this okay so that's a pot there um we could have another one up around here like that so you see i'm just adding the splashes of color first that's all i'm doing and um, we'll have another one just here look let's say so that's my green give my brush a little clean out just to get rid of some of that green out of the brush let's move on to some nice red cadmium red I'm itching all day long to use some of my cadmium red because it's such a wonderful colour. Let's go up here. Now let me get my stick, my little timber stick, and let's put one. Oh, look at that. That's nice though, isn't it? Huh? Now that's bright, I have to say. I'll take a little hint of crimson in that, just maybe to dull it down. Just a hint. And let's put a couple around here. And as they get closer to you, they're going to get bigger. As they get further away, they're going to get smaller, okay? That's a general kind of, a general rule in painting. The closer something is, the bigger and more pronounced it gets. And if something is further away, it just gets that little bit smaller. Now, so that's one pot there. We have another pot up there. Now, don't worry, I'll fix the curves on all of these um very very soon okay now i'm going to take some white into that and let's take a bit of crimson and now we'll have a couple of nice pink pots okay let's get a couple of nice pink ones let's try one around here and we can put another one a little bit stronger actually than that that's a bit light for my liking and let's put another one and we have another one here more crimson um, we get a nice pink one around here just on that step and some of this color underneath is still wet so i need to be just a little bit cautious that's all um okay let's come a little bit further with that and let's take some more i'm going right into crimson now okay and there's no turpentine in these so right into some crimson here now let's get some nice pink rich dark pink Crimson on its own. And let's put one or two of the lighter ones up here as well. Okay. And we put a nice bright red one. There's a lot of red in this actually, isn't there? We put a nice red one here. See, I'm only just putting like squares of colour. You don't have to be too fussy um, too early on, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is, uh, while I have the red on my brush, right, I'm going to mix a darker red for the shadows. So I'm going to take some black. Let me just find a clean piece of my palette here now, just a small bit. Look, some black and some crimson, we'll say. Even a hint of cadmium red as well. And that dark red then I'm going to use for some of the shadows look and i'm going to soften them back and then let them just sort of soften out into those lighter areas let's try that again okay there we go now these ones strangely enough they're darker on the opposite side because it's really dark in by the wall so i'm going to go darker in there and soften it outwards okay 
Now you can see I'm just being very loose with all of this. And I will do a lot of the detail work with my small brush. That's all I need. Um, okay, I'm going to give my brush a quick clean there now and work on some of the... We have a couple of orange kind of colours, don't we? I'm going to try some of my Sienna. That's why I got my Sienna, because I wanted to try some of that with my Cadmium Yellow. It's a bit strong still. Let's add a bit of white into that and perhaps some Naples Yellow. Nice kind of a sandy colour, isn't it? Okay, let's try that. We have a nice one. Let's just put one here. Okay, one like that. Let's get perhaps a hint of yellow. Put a nice yellow one up here. And we have another yellow one. Let's put another yellow one up here. And then we will have another one or two. Just to break up all these reds, let's put another one or two around here, okay? And we put a one up here. And perhaps one more. I know there's none up here. Oh, there's one up there, actually. Yeah, I can see that one. Let's put one up there, just to break up that doorway. All right? Now. So we have our basic shapes, don't we? Now let's just kind of crack on and put some of the darks onto some of these. I'm going to try some burnt umber first on the backs of these ones here. Because a dark orange will kind of be a dark brown, won't it? A little bit of cyanide perhaps. So let's put a little bit of dark in here. And kind of soften it out. Okay, there we go. And we'll put, let me see, I'm going to mix a dark green for these green pots. So I'll just get a dark green in here. I just took a bit of blue and a little bit of yellow there. That's all I did, okay? And we have a nice shadow on this side coming down. And again, soften it out and kind of lift off, just like that. Let's add a little bit of burnt umber to the back of that one. Okay, there we go. Um, we have a couple of more dark green. Let's go up here. And we have another one here. Okay, now I will add a little hint of a blacky kind of a blue just to the back of some of these, just to get a really dark shade, okay? Yeah, just in there and I'm then going to mix a very dark purple for the back of the red so it's a very dark kind of um, plummy kind of a purple colour get some more colour now onto this ok just at now, I made a mistake with this one. This should be light on one side, okay? Silly little mistake. Let's not worry. Put a bit of dark up there on that. A little bit there. So my main, my main job now is to just refine all of these and get all these shapes right and all the curves and so on and so on. That's my main job right now. I'll take some black and some brown and let's just get a really dark one just in here like so and I want to add a bit of light to this one so a little bit of crimson a little bit of white okay there we are now I'm going to move to another slightly small pointy brush okay and I'm going to just refine some of these so I'm going to start with a little bit of light out here now, can you see this? Do you want me to zoom in? I think I'll zoom in because I'm going to be changing colours here every five minutes, or every five seconds rather. So I'd rather you see me painting than 
taking colours from my palette because you're not going to see much. I'm going to be working very quickly with the colours on my palette, okay? So I'll put my stick down now for a moment and I'm going to just work on some lights. So first, the very, very bright pinks. I'm going to take some Naples yellow and white and now I'm not even looking at the reference photo too much either, okay? Um, you have a very bright curve on the top of that. Sort of comes around like so, yeah? So, there we have one. We have again up here. And we have a kind of um, a funny colour then underneath some of those pot plants. It's like um, a light blue under some of those. So let's not worry about that for a moment. My concern now is I just want to get some of these lights done. So a little bit of light pink. I'm just dragging them across. Like so. And this is just an impression. This is very loose. The entire painting, I think, is a very a very loose kind of a painting. Um, but for that reason, it's a lot of fun. Okay, now let's try the light green. Let's take a hint of yellow with some white and a tiny hint of blue. And let's just go across the tops of these. Like so. It's just to give them um, a ridge on top. That's the only thing, really. Okay, there we go. Another one or two up here. And I may add a little bit of that colour just to the front of some of these. We have one over here. Okay, and again, I'll add some, a little hint of Naples yellow, just to some of the light here. It's just to give it a bit of, um, a bit of light and a bit of texture at the same time, you see? Just catching the light, that's all. Now, even a bit of Naples yellow on this one would be nice as well, I think. Because they're similar colours. And we'll go up here, maybe add a little hint on that. We could even add a little bit of that over on this one. And then I'll take Naples yellow with white, lots of thick paint, and use that for this top here. And the top of this one. So you can see now how I'm just keeping all this simple, simplifying everything. Oh, lovely, isn't it? I must say, I'm very happy with that. Now I'm going to start adding some darks to some of these. I'm going to take a hint of black, okay? Uh, maybe a hint of red as well. So a very thin, watery red kind of um, a mix dark blacky ready mix and just under those lids those rims just gonna add a little bit of that here and there okay no big deal just to give it a little bit of shadow that's all and my hand now is not the, is not the steadiest I'll be honest Okay, there we go. And we get a couple on some of these down here. Alright. And remember, we're just having a bit of fun. That's all it is, a bit of fun. Let's go and try some of these pots up here. Yeah? Bit on that, little bit on that. A 
That's coming on quite nice, isn't it? Now I'm going to try my stick again. Because it does help. Leave it there. And I must finish that one as well, not to worry. Add a little bit in there and add a little bit in there. Just for the shadow, that's all. And let's come across to these. Tiny little bit. And again, I'm just kind of simplifying this now, that's all. I'm just keeping it nice and simple. If I if I wasn't doing a tutorial, I would probably take my time and spend a lot more time doing this. Um, but when I finished the recording, I kind of go back then and I will tip away just doing little bits, do you know what I mean? Little small bits here and there. Probably refine some of the shadows, add a little bit to some of them, that kind of thing. So that's that's what I generally do. Little bit on the back of that one. Little bit there. We need a little dark over here. Okay. Coming on quite nicely. Now under some of those we have a very bright bluish kind of a colour. So I'm thinking a little phthalo blue with lots and lots of white. That's the kind of colour I can see. Strange, I know, but what's happening is all this blue is reflecting onto the metal of those. So if you like, with a little blue here, look. Okay. And this will mix with some of them now, but not to worry. Uh, let's go a little bit up here. So now, we can see under them, so the perspective that was coming into work here. Uh, because we're standing on the bottom of the steps looking up, we can see under some of those pot plants. Isn't that correct? So now it's kind of starting to make a little sense, isn't it? Just a little sense. Another one there. So you see, it's just a little dab is, is all I'm giving it. A little tiny dab. Now, a hint more blue. You see, so just a hint, that's all. I've been very loose with all of this now. And it will pick up some of the colour which is already there and mix with that as well giving some nice colors okay that's coming on quite nice though isn't it and when i'm doing the flowers there now for these i probably will just use my palette knife Do you know nice and simple All right, I grab some more paint. A little bit for this. A bit for that. And what I'm going to do then is, I am going to, let me see now, I'm going to take more black actually. I'm take a lot more black. And I'm going to add some more, some of these ones here. Now, they will have a bit of a shadow as well. So let's give these a nice dark shadow look. Like so. Just a bit of blue and a bit of black, that's all. Um, this one will have a shadow kind of coming down like that. Now, perhaps a bit of blue going through that shadow might help. Okay, now that's just wrong. I'll have to fix that in a moment. Let me try some phthalo blue on that. Get some proper blue shadows in there. Um, it's coming down like that. 
this one I'm just going to give dark like that and a couple of these then just a couple of dark kind of just little slithers of dark just underneath them to kind of sit them down that's all there won't be any shadows cast from these because they're in the shadow so let's just soften it across like that okay it's just to have have them somewhere to sit that's all now a little bit of white across under here like so next we have lots of kind of fixtures of fittings on the wall don't we now i'm going to just try and simplify this section up here um i'm going to basically make a light blue and i'm going to just put some kind of suggestions of bars on a window that type of thing you know what i mean again i'm just simplifying everything And we'll then have a couple of darks as well. Um, there's like lots of wires coming down. A bit of this, a bit of that. You know, a bit of everything there. Now, the, pan, the, 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 the pot plants as well will have little brackets, won't they, holding them. So let's put little brackets. Like that, yeah? Very simple, a couple of little flicks of your brush. Okay, you see? I'll take a hint of blue. Now I'll use my stick again for this side over here. And look, all I'm doing is just wiggling my brush, giving it a couple of wiggles. I'm not trying to paint exact copies of um, brackets or molds. It's just to suggest that they're being held on with something. That's all, it, that's all I'm trying to do. You see, it's just a very loose representation of little brackets and things like that on the wall. Nothing too fancy okay so there we are and you can give them a little highlight if you wish you don't have to you don't have to but i think they might benefit from a little hint of a couple of dabs of blue here and there just to suggest light reflection that's all. Light reflecting off of the wall and light reflecting from the sky, wherever. Just a few little dabs. See? A couple of small little tiny hints of light. Okay, I think I'm happy enough with that. I'm going to, I think I may switch to, um, let me think now, I might switch to a palette knife actually and try and get some work done with a palette knife. Let me just hit some of these with some highlight first, okay? Just a little here and there. All right, that'll do fine. Okay, we can work on some more details later. Uh, one more thing I need to see. I just need to bring that across like that. There we go, see? Just little hints, just to separate. No, done. Okay, flower time. I'm gonna get my palette knife. You can use a palette knife or you can use um, 
your pointy brush it doesn't matter which I suppose either one will do really won't it let's try a palette knife just for a bit of fun shall we let me find my palette knife I have this one and I also have another one here somewhere it's around here somewhere no worry uh, we could try a fan brush a palette knife we also have this one sharp kind of a pointy one we could try that I think I might try this one first so let's a couple of splashes of red flowers now will I zoom back or are you happy to stay at that I think you're probably happy to stay at that look some bright red on your palette and let's just put a couple of little dabs here and there boom 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 look at that now now we're talking let's get some pink some dark pink a little bit of dark pink and come up here and put some red and pink flowers so is the whole thing now just going to come to life isn't this fantastic and I don't know what flowers these are. There could be any types of flowers that you wish. Let me take a bit of yellow. I'm going to add a splash of yellow into this one. With the red, of course. We may not, we may not even need our fan brush. We may be okay, I think. Okay, a little bit there like that. Let's put a little... Now, this doesn't have any, but I think I might put one or two in there okay um let's get some yellow on its own pop a little yellow around here and there so we have to have some yellow don't we a little bit there and what i'm doing then is i'm mixing colors together as well on the palette you see a little bit of yellow a little bit of red little touch of naples yellow even here and there We'll take a little bit more red again. Now, I'll clean that and I will go to some bright yellow. Some cadmium yellow or a little white. So we're doing some real serious palette work, palette knife work here now, aren't we? And look, it's just a suggestion, but it's looking well, isn't it? I think it's looking fabulous. A little bit of green. Let's get some cobalt blue with some yellow. And pop a little bit of green in here and there. Okay. There we go. There. And um, we have a couple of little bits coming up like that of this one let's take some burnt umber and cyanide and suggest one or two things kind of flying out of this one a um, couple of those flying out of that so you can be as loose as you want you can just have a load of fun with this this is fantastic I may do a few more of these types of paintings let me know what you think I think they're great fun to do They really are, aren't they? Now, let me take my fan brush. Take a hint of that white, perhaps. Whatever colour you like. And let's try a couple of hints of that here and there. Like so. And let's get a hint of... Um, let me see now. Try a hint of that yellow. That nice rich yellow. Okay. Let's try a hint of the cyanide. And perhaps even a hint of black. Why not? Um, let's come down. A bit of stuff coming down out of some of them. Um, let's go a little bit there. And there we are. Okay, we are doing quite well, my friends. I think now, just with my pointy brush, 
a couple of final details and I'd say that should pretty much be it because I don't want to overwork a painting like this. I think a painting like this needs to be left. If you go at it and go at it and go at it, you run the risk of just making it worse, don't you? Or making a mistake or whatever. Um, so I'm thinking for that reason, I may just call it a day. That's lovely, isn't it? I must say I'm very, very happy with this. i be honest, I was a bit sceptical at the beginning. I didn't think it would turn out as well as it has. Um, but you know what? I am very, very pleasantly surprised. Very, very pleasantly. Um, let me see now. There's just one or two little bits that's kind of I want to maybe brighten. So I'm going to take my small flat brush and let me see now. Take some pure white on its own. And there's just one or two areas where I think just a little splash of white might make a big difference. So just there. Okay, a little bit there, you see, and even soften it down with your finger just a little. Um, perhaps another bit just up there. I love that light up there coming through the doorway. I'm going to even put more of that in. And the other doorway here, just a hint. And then even just a little hint of, you see, I picked up some yellow there now, didn't I? That wasn't good. See, just scrape it off your brush, pick up more white and go over that. There we are. A nice little suggestion up there. Okay. I think I'll wrap it up. I hope you enjoy that. Wasn't that wonderful? Let's get a bit up there, look. Huh? What the heck? And I'm thinking as well, finally, just along on those top steps. Little hint of it. And there we are. My friends, it has been an absolute pleasure. Let me zoom in here now and show you what we have created. Now, let me just turn my camera here, and that is it. Isn't that just wonderful? Now, there's one little piece I think it needs, and that is, let me show you, up at the top there, I think it could do with a little shadow from those little plants there, just a little hint of a, a kind of a bluey colour. Like so, just to kind of sit them on the wall a little bit better. Okay, yeah. And that, I think, is a little better. There we are. The Blue City in Morocco. I'm very, very, very happy with that. Isn't that just wonderful? Let me go right in here and I will show you. Look, nice loose work with the pad. I will, I will see you next week. Um, do subscribe, please do subscribe and share. Share all the videos, go onto your social media, share them all because so many people are missing out on just nice, easy techniques um, with oil painting and just landscape painting and just having, having a bit of fun as well. I think there are so many people out there who would really benefit from these kinds of um, tutorials. So do share all of these. I would be delighted. Thank you so much.